Hello, and welcome to an overview of the automotive workflow in Shotgun. We will take you through standard automotive workflows from design, modeling, visualization, clay, and class A, and how these departments in the design studio can take advantage of Shotgun right away. Please note the workflows we will share today can be customized and modified for your needs if required. As a designer, the first thing I will do is open the Shotgun Desktop application. Inside here, I can see all the projects I am assigned to work on. When I click on a project, I will see all the applications available to me. And as a designer, my main application is Photoshop. So let's click on Photoshop and launch it from here. An important note, you must launch applications from Shotgun Desktop in order to have the integration with Shotgun. With Photoshop opening, you can see a shotgun panel loading inside. The first step here to start a new file is to click on the File Open button. On the left of this dialog, we will see My Tasks, which shows all the tasks that I as a user have been assigned. When we click on this task, this tool will show all the files associated with it. In this case, we are just starting, so we won't see any. So let's click New File to start one. So, with a new file, let's do some magic and make a design. Next, we want to save this file, so let's click on the Shotgun File Save button. Shotgun first lets you add a descriptor to the file name, and it can automatically enforce a naming convention for you. For example, if your studio requires the project name or project code in the file name, Shotgun can make that happen. Next, Shotgun will also automatically version up the file, so no work is ever lost and no user will have to do this themselves. Finally, Shotgun will save this file to the correct location every time. This replicates the behavior in Design Studios today, but no longer requires users to maintain these files in the correct location. Shotgun will now do that for you. So we can now go ahead and save the file, and so far nothing else has happened. It has just been saved to disk, and it allows you to continue working. If you would like to share this design with your team, or get a review from a manager, you want to publish your file. So let's select the Publish option next. Once selected, you can add a description of what you've done in your file and publish to Shotgun. As a designer, I may want to create a couple of different designs to share with my manager. I can quickly go through and generate two more design ideas. And in this case, we will create a new file, save, and publish. And all of this design material will be managed by Shotgun. The manager view in Shotgun will be accessed via the web browser. This view will show all the different designs or versions published in a visual way. As a manager, I can quickly see the work being complete, and if I need to, I can jump in and start a review one by one. If your studio has reoccurring reviews, you can also use a playlist, as shown here. In this case, we have told Shotgun to automatically add the designs to a dailies playlist that is a collection of designs done today. If we click on the playlist, we can review all the work right from here, with any notes or comments being sent directly back to the original designer. Before we show how the review tools work, let's add a design from a different tool first. If you use other tools to paint and sketch your designs, for example, Autodesk Sketchbook, you can easily publish this work into Shotgun as well. To keep this simple, Shotgun allows you to publish this design simply by dragging and dropping this image into the Desktop Publisher application. Here we can associate this image with the design task, and we can add a similar description to what this design is, and then publish it to Shotgun. If the manager returns to their design page and hits refresh, they can now see the latest design that has been published. If we go into the media page, we can easily see unviewed versions. This is everything that hasn't been reviewed yet. And to add this design to our playlist, all we need to do is drag and drop it. Again, with those design ideas, we can click on the play button to go into the design review process. From here, we can jump between all these different design iterations. And if we want, we can draw over or annotate on these images. In this case, we can add any feedback or comments in the official shotgun form of notes. All of these notes will automatically be saved inside a shotgun 
and this information shared directly with the designer who created this design in the first place. In Photoshop, the designer can see these design notes using the shotgun panel. If we open the shotgun panel, this is going to give us insights of everything being done on the project, asset, or task we are working on. This means the designer never needs to leave their main application. Shotgun enables this quick review feedback loop, which allows the designers to focus more time on designing. As a modeler, I will start working in the same way a designer would work. In this case, my main application is Alias, so let's launch Alias from the Shotgun desktop application. With Alias open, we can see a Shotgun menu along the top bar. We start every scene by clicking on the File Open button. And here, we are presented with the My Tasks list. We can click on the Modeling task to see all related files. And since we are starting a new project, this will be empty. So let's click on New File. So next, we will want to start our scene using other information already stored in the project. Let's go to the Loader. And the Loading tool allows us to load in publishes that have been created in our Shotgun project. In this case, we can see the designs our design team has made, but we can also see some engineering data that has already been published. If we look into the details, we can see our manager has loaded this package in as a baseline for design. From here, we are able to load this right into our alias scene or into an alias stage. In this instance, though, let's just start with the 2D design. So let's import this design into the scene. With the design loaded, let's close the loader and we can see the image has been loaded directly onto a canvas. Fast forward with some time gone by and we have a solid first pass of the model. Next, we can go and save the alias scene. In the same way we save files in Photoshop, Shotgun will manage our file name for us, automatically version it up, and save it to the correct storage location each and every time. Next, we can publish this file as well. In this case, we are going to see a lot of publish options. We are going to have some options to translate this file, and the studio can configure which ones, if any, of these options they want to use. There are also some alias-specific options that publish annotations from your scene to Shotgun. Finally, we can also take a screenshot of our scene and add a description of what we have done. This 3D scene will also now be visible inside of Shotgun. From the manager view, if we go back into Shotgun, we can see the 3D design is visible as well. If we want to review this, we can right click and select 3D Review. Doing this will open that 3D model in a lightweight web viewer. This allows us to review the basic model and surfaces right inside your web browser, meaning no need to open a full 3D application to see the model and provide revision notes. From the browser, we can annotate on top of the 3D model, with all of these notes again being captured in Shotgun and sent directly back to the modeler who created this model. Next, let's talk about visualization workflows for Shotgun. As a visualization artist, just as a Photoshop or Alias user, I will launch VRED via the Shotgun desktop application. VRED will have a Shotgun menu at the top, and we will click on File Open. We can click on our visualization task and see that no files are available yet, so again, let's start with a new file. With a blank scene, we will want to start with the in-progress model, so let's load in that latest model. Published files are automatically sorted by the asset type, so we can go and find the latest alias file and import it into our VRED scene. Shotgun has helped us load the latest alias model directly into our scene, which means we didn't need to manually track it down or ask our colleagues which version was the latest. Shotgun did this for us automatically. So now, as a VRED user, I can go in and start applying materials. The model is just a first pass, but we will want to apply some basic shaders to start some progress. Now, with some shaders added, we can go in and render this scene. Shotgun is going to set the render path for us automatically, so we don't need to worry about where we will save this render.
With the render complete, if we want to publish this file, we can take a screenshot and add a description about what the scene contains. But we can also see an option here to publish the VRED session render. This means Shotgun will manage the in-scene renders you have done and allow you to publish the rendered frames directly to Shotgun. With the rendered frames or sequences published to Shotgun, there will be a direct link between the rendered images and the VRED files that created them. With this published to Shotgun, we can see the latest render is available to view and be reviewed in the browser. You can now annotate and mark up these renders, and all of these notes will be captured in Shotgun, with the notes going directly back to the user who rendered them. Nothing throughout design happens one after another. Design work is always happening in parallel. So in this case, alias modeling work will continue to be done. And meanwhile, in VRED, the visualization user is adjusting shaders, adding textures, and inputting data from color and materials. So how can Shotgun help teams constantly working in parallel? If we go back into VRED, we can share another tool called the Scene Breakdown tool. If we open this tool, you can see all the items loaded into the VRED scene. If the item has a green check mark, this means that Shotgun is using the latest version. Now, if a modeler working in Alias makes a change and publishes it again, we'll see things happen from the VRED side. Let's check the scene breakdown tool. We can now see the latest model is out of date. You can easily update to the latest model by clicking the updated selected button. Shotgun will load the latest model, reassign shaders and materials, and match the transformations done in the VRED scene. All this means you can pull in the latest versions of your model quickly and easily while never having to remember where the files are stored on disk. Shotgun can also be leveraged by the clay or physical departments. Each user in this team will have their own login where they can see a department specific homepage. As an example, a clay user may see designs that are approved to be milled and allow for the team to easily grab those files and begin working. They may also see the schedule of the design department to make sure everything is happening on time, and if there are any concerns, the team can see them. As a clay user, I can also take the output from any scans or photos of the clay model and publish them into Shotgun. Here I have some files that I can publish directly into Shotgun, connecting to the clay task and adding a description for this publish. With the scan published, we can share how easy this is to access by a digital modeler. Back in Alias, if we use the load tool, we can see the latest clay scan. We can import the scan into the scene, or even load it into a new Alias stage, separating it from the model. The modeler can now go in and make modeling changes against the scan data. Next, Shocking can also support Class A workflows inside of Alias. We can also see how an interior design can be assembled using the Shotgun tools. With a blank scene, we can go in and see all the different interior assets that have been published into Shotgun. From here, we can easily create references out of these WREF files. And now, using the scene breakdown tool, it will show us all the parts loaded into this alias scene. If any of the parts change, Shotgun will notify us and we can make sure to update to the latest versions. Engineering could also have logins into Shotgun. When an engineer logs in, they may have access to an engineering home page that could be managed by their department lead. This page could share the design schedule, but may also share the latest 3D designs for them to view. With this information, an engineer could easily see the latest 3D designs and copy the file it came from to do early work on CFD analysis or general feasibility testing. Having a portal to access 3D models earlier could help engineering work ahead faster than ever before.